दिस इज इंग्लिश शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन नंबर सिक्सटी एंड द डिक्टेशन स्पीड इज वन सिक्सटी वर्ड्स पर मिनट रेडी स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट द मेडिकल टर्मिनेशन ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी अमेंडमेंट बिल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एज द ऑनरेबल हेल्थ मिनिस्टर इज सिटिंग हियर आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द गवर्नमेंट फॉर द कॉन्सल्टेड एफर्ट्स टेकन बाई मैनी मिनिस्ट्रीज टूगेदर इन कंटेनिंग द स्प्रेड ऑफ द करोना वायरस एज वी ऑल नो दिस बिल अमेंड्स द मेडिकल टर्मिनेशन ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी एक्ट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन विच प्रोवाइड्स फॉर द टर्मिनेशन ऑफ सर्टन प्रेगनेंसीज बाई रजिस्टर्ड मेडिकल practitioners it seeks to add the definition of termination of pregnancy to mean a procedure undertaken to terminate a pregnancy by using medical or surgical methods under the 1971 act a pregnancy may be terminated within 12 weeks if a registered medical practitioner is of the opinion that continuation of the pregnancy may risk the life of the mother or cause grave injury to her health or there is a substantial risk that the child if born would suffer physical or mental abnormalities for termination of a pregnancy between 12 to 20 weeks two medical practitioners are required to give their opinion the current bill amends this provision to state that a pregnancy may be terminated within 20 weeks with the opinion of one registered medical practitioner approval of two registered medical practitioners will be required for the termination of pregnancies between 20 to 24 weeks the termination of pregnancy is up to 24 weeks will apply to specific categories of women as may be prescribed by the central government further the central government will notify the norms for the medical practitioners whose opinion is required for termination of the pregnancy another point is that under the earlier act if any pregnancy occurs as a result of failure of any device or method used by a married woman or her husband to limit the number of children such an unwanted pregnancy may constitute a grave injury to the mental health of the pregnant woman the bill amends this provision by replacing the words married woman or her husband with the words woman or her partner this is also a welcome step especially in this age of increasing live in relationships Another major point that the bill seeks to improve is the constitution of a medical board. The bill states that the upper limit of termination of pregnancy will not apply in cases where such termination is necessary due to the diagnosis of substantial fetal abnormalities. These abnormalities will be diagnosed by a medical board. Under the bill, every state government is required to constitute a medical board. These medical boards will consist of a gynecologist, a pediatrician, a sonologist, or or any other member as may be notified by the state government the bill states that the central government will notify the powers and functions of these medical boards we hope that the central government will give more powers to the state governments to notify the powers and functions of these medical boards in the interest of cooperative federalism protection of privacy by law is also another important aspect of this bill the bill states that no registered medical practitioner will be allowed to reveal the name and other particulars of a woman whose pregnancy has been terminated except to a person authorized by any law anyone who contravenes this provision will be punishable with imprisonment of up to 1 year or with a fine or both i would like to say that the medical profession is doing a great job in our country the doctors are working very hard when schools and colleges are closed and assembly of people is not being allowed the people in the medical profession are working day in day out to contain this disease and treat the patients but they are getting very little pay their salary is like that of the upper division clerks the minister should think about it though this matter is not related to this bill i would like to bring this to the attention of the minister sir i believe this bill will take forward the empowerment of women in this country further and establish their right over their reproductive life but will the abortus go unsung 
as we are talking about 24 weeks in this bill as a person who has been working in this field since 1985 as a pioneer in this country for detection of fetal anomalies and even as a doctor who has worked in government hospitals i would like to point out that hardly anybody in this august house knows the environment of the operation room where the medical termination of pregnancies takes place when we are breaking the ampules of injections when we are throwing the dirty gloves and scalpel blades the abortus is also thrown into the same bucket at 24 weeks sometimes the abortus breathes and sometimes the abortus cries so what would be the feeling of the gynecologist who is throwing this 24 weeks abortus into that bucket of needles and pins we have to keep in mind that this is definitely for the betterment of women strengthening their empowerment and right to their own life i would also like to draw the attention of this house to the 17 sustainable development goals and 169 targets the third goal is looking at the health of the women to reduce maternal mortality rate and also giving the child a good life as far as statistics are concerned in our country today 56% of abortions are unsafe out of 6.4 million annual abortions in india 3.6 million are unsafe resulting in 13% maternal deaths in india and 50000 all over the world so to prevent these maternal deaths we need safe abortion and that is why this bill is being brought As per the provisions of this bill a board will be set up with a gynecologist a pediatrician and a sonologist a radiologist should not be there in this board because it is the sonologist who detects the anomalies or the well being of the baby but alongside it we should have an anesthetist because sometimes in late abortions when we are doing mtp it can either be through induction of labor or through hysterectomy and in that case we would require an anesthetist we should also have a psychiatrist to counsel the mother whether she is actually looking for it or not i am suggesting this because sometimes after fetal sex determination a woman is forced to undergo abortion in our country we all know about this and we can confirm it from the decline in sex ratio so the counselor should also be there then i would also like to suggest that fast track courts should be set up to deal with litigations when a young girl of 11 years is raped she does not even know what the meaning of rape is what the meaning of pregnancy is she cannot even recognize the changes taking place in her body and it is only after 3 4 months that her mother recognizes certain changes and takes her to a doctor at that time she has already passed 20 weeks when the doctor sends her to the court the court takes an order two months and so by the time the permission is granted it is already so late that it endangers her life therefore fast track courts must be set up particularly in cases where young girls have been raped and exposed to violence or incest then there are cases in which medical conditions coexist in the mother we all know that the blood volume increases by 12 times in pregnancy if the heart starts failing in later pregnancy cardiac failure set in renal failure set in then they can be given permission for 24 weeks otherwise i would feel that it should be limited to 22 weeks because till then the fetus is not so viable 24 weeks is actually viable when the mother can feel the kick of the child inside her tummy and a bond has already been set up as far as ultrasound goes being a pioneer in the country in the field i know that major anomalies can be detected as early as 14 to 16 weeks so we can make it mandatory in district hospitals for all pregnant women we can institutionalize delivery in west bengal now we have 98% institutional deliveries maternal mort- mortality has come down to 113 in west bengal i am sure that we can also institutionalize pregnant women to go into the district hospitals for ultrasound scan at 16 to 18 weeks when all anomalies can be seen and an anomalous fetus can be aborted 
and it should be aborted because it is incompatible with life that can happen by 18 to 20 weeks so maternal disease or fetal disease is a good reason for the abortees to be taken out even at 24 weeks rape cases or cases of violence can be taken out at 24 weeks but for all other cases where the choice is with the mothers they can easily choose early from 18 to 20 weeks so that we do not have to take upon ourselves the murder of a child who was breathing when it was taken out instead of two registered medical practitioners there should be actually two specialist gynecologists for their opinion when the abortion is being taken up to 24 weeks besides this in case of rubella and other diseases which can expose the child to disease and incompatibility in life we can extend this up to 24 weeks however this is an excellent attempt it is a very good proposal that the right of the woman is being recognized and she is being given her own choice towards her reproductive health.